Welcome back to another Mass Effect 2 stream, and yeah, today we're going to actually start the game and <laughs> uh, go to Omega to recruit uh, the Doctor, Archangel and Zaid, the latter of which is going to take about 20 seconds, luckily. And yeah, let me quickly explain the title. Uh, obviously I'm going to play Engineer or Full Paragon on Insanity Difficulty. <clears throat> already played through Mass Effect 1 and I'm going to play through basically all the Mass Effect games and for Mass Effect 1, 2 and 3 see how all the Paragon choices carry over from each game to the other and yeah going to always take the Paragon choices and do the Paragon interrupts when possible and yeah sort of go with that and then I guess sort of talk about the game and stuff and like how oh, my general opinions regarding the actions of the character, <laughs> or something like that. But yeah, that's about the idea. In the last episode we basically completed the prologue and the uh, beginning and did get the ship and did lots of talking to everybody, so I don't have to do it right now. One note is that I have to do lots of tactical uh, rolls to the left, because unfortunately I cannot capture the game in... Uh, in a way that locks my mouse to the thing. Still haven't figured that one out yet, but so just be aware that I'm going to do lots of tactical rolls to the left. <laughs> well, let's uh, yeah, yeah, that's 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 part of the challenge. It's going to be the left roll challenge or something. Let's quickly check out all the planets. <laughs> oh yeah, should do this at some point too. Great heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Cool. I all tab by accident. <clears throat> Maybe I should do this. Sort of extremely interesting Research gameplay. Not right now. Well, Poggers, I suppose. Let's uh, go to another planet to just get the uh, exploration percentage to 100. And. Yeah, just make sure that there isn't any thing interesting here. <laughs> like any missions or something. It suddenly pop up. <laughs> Come on. Let's quickly check. Okay, nothing here. All the interesting 
stuff is in the other systems. Always a tiny bit disorienting that you have to like press escape to get out of the scanner mode, but if you pre press escape a second time you exit the uh, galaxy map. <laughs> so to exit the like planet view you have to click the button which is a bit weird. <laughs> but yeah, time for some horrible reading on my part. Omega. Built in the mined out hask of a metallic asteroid, Omega has been a haven for criminals, terrorists and malcontents for thousands of years. At times this station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries, only to be reactivated by a new group of outlaws seeking a fresh start. The space station's original elegant design has given way to a haphazard expansion by scrabbling, 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 scrabbling factions of every species. There is no central government or unifying authority on Omega and nobody can recall a time there ever was one. Yeah. And my, my, I'm so... I sound too moist again. <laughs> Anyways. Fuck now. Also I'm using graphics mods to make things look better. Not sure how long the stream is going to be, probably just for the like duration of doing stuff on Omega. Okay, any cool outfits? Uh Yeah, I guess we can go with the default looks. Um yeah, let's Just rank and give him. And let's go and let's have his pull ranked up so we can pull. And for her, I think Overlord is for now a good choice. Although technically, I have it myself. Okay, uh, fancy crystal, grenade launcher, stay with that. Okay, what good shotgun could he get? Let's give him the, like, server shotgun. And anything else is the standard stuff. And other SMGs I do not have. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to Omega. Hello. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. Mm. I'm receiving quarantine oh, nice. about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. Lower to the left. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife mm. that may have information on him. Hello. Please. Ow. Please. You have to help me. No one says you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Bassani? Yeah, 
that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. Yes. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, <laughs> shut up. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Cool. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elthal Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'm sure. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Uh, very cool. Maybe I should not wear a full helmet, because it sometimes is awkward. Hello. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Fair enough. Frantically looking around for the one guys that he might always stand here. Hello. <clears throat> what are you looking at? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I fine. You're off the hook. For now. Yeah. See you around. <laughs> Now, I'm, now, as usual, I'm sort of running into the issue of having n tactical virtual left. Uh, no idea what to say. Very good. Let's buy this very obvious thing and talk to the bartender. No thanks. <laughs> Hello. Hello. That's close enough. Okay. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. Where did Echo come from? But you need more. 
Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. Okay. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? Very well, well, time for some exposition. So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Uh, okay. <laughs> Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. At least that's honest. <laughs> Short answer, mind your own damn business. One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Aww. <laughs> I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Oh, thanks. Just over there. <laughs> I'm sure they'll sign you up. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I could have figured it out myself, but thanks for r reminding me. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Okay. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. I'm looking for Morton Solis. Do you know where I can find him? I feel the I feel like the doctor? The helmet. Last I heard, he was trying now. to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morton. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Okay, very nice. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. Cool. Let's go around and do things and then go and get Morden first. Uh, yeah. Well, might as well talk to this guy to just I hear you're recruiting. get it out of the way. Mm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? Hi. You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is this guy has a very big chin. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. 
You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Wow, a Any whole... Questions? A whole 500 credits, that's... Money. <laughs> Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? They haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing, operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Derek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Derek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garn's the head of the Blood Pack. Derek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. Fair enough. I'm just confused which one I didn't choose. What do we do once we're there? How do we get the Archangel? Sometimes the dialogue options the jump around. To get there. Last I heard, they were putting the freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, well, I wouldn't. what are the odds he can kill all of you? But if you walk in a straight line, all like in a like staggered line, all behind each other, yeah, probably high. <laughs> but anyways, seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy, but he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a porch out of the sewer pipes. But that's where we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Okay. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Bam. Hey, 50 wait. credits. <laughs> Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Oh, he looks so sad. Well, with that done, let's go through the afterlife and then check out the markets and then uh, go after oh, uh, Morden. Hello, Commander Shepard. Is that you? I I'd heard you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I expect you'd remember. Are you stuck in a well? Two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. Oh. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above. I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. And now you're on Omega. Once a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh, no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. Be interesting. That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. That's more noble than I expected. Noble? No. It's just that someone came along a few years ago and made me see the error of my ways. You convinced me that I could use my contacts and skills for things other than smuggling and exploitation. I thank you for that. Fair enough. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. 
Of course. You must have more important things to do. Imagine it would be like this easy with everybody. You just talk, talk to them once and they like become a good person or something. <laughs> but I guess what a sort of right person at the right time, for Shepard at least. I'm sure nothing can go wrong if I just get a drink and drink it from my helmet. Also, I'm currently paranoid whether or not the texture mods did the install themselves accidentally. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. I see. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. Uh -huh. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. Duly noted. Let's get back to work. Be careful out there. Okay, let's go and do the Paragon action, if I... Where would I go? Because I don't actually, like, recall what it was. Oh, hey. I'll be there in a minute. No, oh, no, no, no. Shepard, I heard you were dead. I had a party and everything. Nice haircut. No, really. Thanks for taking the time to chase a small-time crook off the Citadel so I could squat in this shithole for years. No problem. And if you leave the straight and narrow, I'll be there to follow up. Right, right, because you don't have planets to save and figure shit like that. Nothing better to do than keep me down. Yes. Goddamn saviors of the galaxy. Messing with a man's living. <laughs> Hello. Do I know? No, no, you humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. Now, like, this option seems, like, safer, because, like, he would die to it with the other, you, like, how is inciting the crowd the Paragon option here? <laughs> A lot more people would get hurt if you, instead of just forcing him to drink it, which, fair enough, is still evil, but the other part, sort of, is too, to just go, <laughs> to just go and be like, Yo, this guy evil, beat him up, or well, I guess kill him. <laughs> what do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you. Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, four man. Yeah. You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the port. <laughs> Ogrin is a uh, crook on a draw. Okay, but nobody really minds, I guess, and he just disappeared. Okay. Ah, sure. Let's do a awkward celebratory dance. Come on. If you don't dance like this, can you even dance? 
Yum. I wonder how many lines the guy has. But I usually wonder about that while they speak to the last line or or are about to loop. Uh, exhibit A, I suppose. <laughs> Nothing else? Okay. Tactical roll. So the mouse stays in the thing. Oh, where, where does this go? I guess. <laughs> I don't think I know you, human. I'm the patriarch. Arius patriarch. What do you want? Uh, exposition. That is what I want. What do you know about Arius? A few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> She killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. You sound happy about that. What made her decide to leave you alive? Oh, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, he was stronger. Huh. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well. Was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. But you time is done. Trying to leave. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. I guess, but you couldn't couldn't you just try to leave and go somewhere else if you don't like it here? Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live, kept me around as an advisor, as a trophy. I mean, if you want to die, you can still try to kill her. I mean, you don't sound very happy, and don't really seem like you're the type of guy to change that circumstance after, after a few hundred years. I should be gone. Anyways, <laughs> let's go and do some shopping. Do you have anything new to say? I got the message last time. I work at a shipping dock, all right? Leave me alone. So I get friendly with the whores in my off hours. So what? <laughs> That's all I got left of the old days. Thanks. I'm gonna keep. <laughs> I'm a good boy now, so piss off. I'll, I'll keep watching you. You better not do anything. Okay. Where, where, where? Let's go and click on all the interactables that I can help find. Hello. Did I miss something, or am I just blind? No, this guy's just. Chill on at the very warm, warm spot. Fair enough. How can these people be left to rot like this? You don't understand, or you don't want to. Doesn't really matter. No. 
Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. Huh. Hello. You look happy. Tell Captain Gaborn we not kill anyone today. Who? I don't know a Captain Gaborn. Why would I tell him anything? We do not trust you. Tell Gaborn we know he tricks. We not kill anyone today. Okay. There seem to be a lot of Borcha on Omega. Go away. Talk too much. Gaborn's box get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gaborn's tricks. We leave. Dang, he's smart. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every yes. credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, I seem like a decent person. But you can't breathe a word if it's a heretic. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. I could go talk to Herod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. Let's go and do some. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. Some shopping first. Because I'm not sure if the thing will like disappear. I'll take it. Um. Yeah, let's. What's this mistake? Oh, so let's just give him his money. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Here you go. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. Goodbye. Is this stuff now cheaper? No. <laughs> Okay. Do, 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 do. Where do I get right over here? Hello, Marsh. I might have something here for humans. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. <laughs> okay. You won't find a better selection anywhere. Unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. But don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. Imagine just walking up to somebody and be like, I'm not buying anything from you. And he'll just frank and he <laughs> and you just get a discount afterwards. <laughs> oh, mono. Cool. What'd be funny? Don't need those. But I can buy those anyways. Anti sniper rifle damage. Devil damage. Damage I don't need. Okay, now where is the big old alcohol? Oh, there he is. Hello. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. Oops. What can I get for you? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts, all kinds, mostly legitimate. Oh, we he has pride, a cigar. 
My prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. I'm gonna need double C time mode for hack. Cha? Cha? And might as well get that too. Very pockets. Go here yet, but let's just talk to the guy, anyways. What do you want? What's behind this door? The IP section of the club for those with the right name. Do you want to be in? I'd like to join the party. <laughs> this really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. Thanks. <laughs> do you know who I am? <laughs> oh well, let's go and get the doctor. Oh yeah, I, sh I wonder if I could have told Anderson about Kahoku, or if that perhaps he just still awkwardly standing there in his office. Hi. Well. Seems to be popular with humans, your talk. Protheans cast off the lesser races, the Krogan, the Vorja, and the humans. And oh. so they dwell in filth, on worlds made of dirt, feces, and there they lay until they stumble into the skies. The lesser races will be our downfall. The word is clear. Which bad? Let none in my sight continue to live, lest their impurity displease me. <laughs> Word is clear on this friend. Humans are the hands of the reapers, here to commit the galaxy to ruin. You're crazy. Be gone. I cast you out into the cold black. That was a I name you Very masculine voice. Bring unto me the children. I may watch them grow. Salt to the cause. Way is clear, my friend. Draw your weapons for the word. Face its terrible wrath. The end time will come, not with a bang, but with a sigh. <sighs> Those who dip their extremities in the well of sin and vice must repent with fire, oil, or gun. Okay. Let not flesh friendships and base urges compel us to sin and neglect. The word makes its demands, and it demands obedience. On this great stage, <laughs> you shall be rejected, and the lesser races given their places in heaven. And this shall be the beginning of the end. Oh, I see. The end times are upon us. Repent and restore your souls to glory. Shoes are blight on galactic. I think he's about to leap again. You are a blight. Thank you. You. Thank you. Okay, cool. Wait, wait, wait. It's time to accidentally alt tab multiple times. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. Huh. I told I... you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague or the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. 
She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. I see. There's a Solarian named Morton Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? That yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Do you have, by any chance, some exposition that I could listen to? Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? Tell me more about this plague. That starts out as a cough. Then you start coughing blood. And, well, then I shoot you. Fair enough. It affects multiple species. Turians, Solarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune. And Borcha, if you count them. An airborne disease that takes down multiple races. Can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. Tell me more about this plague. Oops. It starts out as a cough. Accidentally double-clicked that. that. takes down multiple races. Can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang that runs the district. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. The plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Solarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. Fair enough. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. Okay, except for one section, this should be pretty relatively easy. Yes, pretty relatively. <laughs> Let's just go with the st bah -bah. standard squad and everything else should be fine. Okay, tactical roll. Oh, wrong gun. Wrong gun again. Phew. I really like the funny laser. Shame that it was. There was a. Words. Shame that it was no longer there in Mass Effect 3. Aww. Okay. Need to remember to go left. Or else I. Tamp out and the sound is gone. Don't shoot, they're clear to come in. Hi. and Borcha shooting anything that moves. Where, where, where? Let's go. By the way, shouldn't you guys be wearing helmets or something? Just, just to be safe? Well, I guess you sort of have to stay here anyways. Don't mind the laser between your eyes. I expected to take this 
then that Oh yeah, everybody has shields, I forgot. Yeah. Everybody is a tiny bit more resilient. Did Jacob just left the dead in the streets? Burning corpses. Must be trying to keep the plague from spreading. Did Jacob just scream stop while shooting the guy that was burning? <laughs> okay. Well, well, well. Surely... Nobody will miss their finances now. Yes. Pogus. Nice. Where does this go? While looking for graphics mods and stuff, there was like mod to remove the minigames, and eh, I, I guess I get why people want to remove them, but I think they're fine. Looks like he tried to claw his way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal. Looks like he tried to claw Fair his enough. way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal. Mystic thinking right there. Davis died last night. He's still talking to me though. Oh. Good to hear his voice. The company is nice. Nobody should die alone. That was sad. But quite a big room. They got lots of binders for stuff. That's cool. Awkward commentary aside, let's let's continue. Hello. Human. Should have guessed. <laughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> yes. Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Mind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. Humans didn't create this plague. Lies drip from your mouth like the blood from my sores. The proof is there for all to see. <laughs> your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> Yours and the wretched Thorcham. I need to find Morton Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcha burned Morton and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you... <coughs> I hope... <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Hey, Damn. stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... 
sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? Exposition. Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Forcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Forcha are immune to disease. <coughs> A human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. You may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morton Solis. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morton worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Suns tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people. And display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> you were talking about Vorcha earlier? Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. Cool. Well, that's I good to get from this. To go to him before. He is dangerous. When I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if, if he can reach me. I should go. Goodbye, you. Have a good day. Chicken. Yeah, have a, have a good day, Redux. <laughs> Regardless. Wait, 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 well, I'm here to steal stuff. Anybody here? He won't need that anymore. The blue suns came by this morning and did something to my door. Now it won't open. Turned out the circuits, maybe. They said they were trying to control the spread of the plague. But I'm not even infected. Damn Turians. Must be some kind of extortion magazine. Trap me in here for a day or two. Then offer to let me out if I pay them off. thing yeah <laughs> I'm really good at this <laughs> well time for the first sort of difficult section let's do a tactical roll <laughs> I'm going to blind him with my laser <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so far so easy. going to switch to the Carnifax after getting it. Man, my aim is shit. Well, let's use the small SMG. Oh, if there is more credits to steal. Nope, just some medi gel, fair enough. And some legal salvage. Cool. I was a specter, I'm allowed to do this. I was trying to find the, like, smallest little thing where I might get some extra credits. Started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Suns territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. Then this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. I need to find Morton Solus. Oh, yeah. Him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorta. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorta tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. 
Then the Blue Sense heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Solarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morton's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay, you're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Mm, cool. Make sure you clear a good path for us. I don't want to get shot on the way to Morden's clinic. Why? We'll wait here until you've cleared the path. When the fighting okay. dies down, we'll head to Morden's clinic. You don't mind if I... Thank you. We'll wait here until you've cleared okay, the path. Okay, very nice. Also, very big apartment. I think. <laughs> it at least looked big. Okay, hopefully I can manage that one fight that's going to come up sooner or later. This looks interesting. Oh yeah, oh, oh here it is. Let's save this here. What's the quick save button? <laughs> yeah, I should have looked this up beforehand, but I only n now remembered it. Uh, F5. Okay, cool. Let's take the position up here, which usually worked out quite okay. Um, fuck. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they can deal with the guys down there. Okay, nice. Okay, we expect to be. Going to some dogs right about now. Uh, but I guess I'll still have a bad mood. Yeah, they, here, here it comes. Huh. I remember this section way more intense. Should have picked up the munitions upstairs. Get some gun. Uh, but not that. Incoming. That was smart. I 
guess I can... Never mind. I thought I could do it without the medijam. Flashbang! That didn't help. Should use cover as well. Jacob is dying again, as he usually does. Use this. Okay. This feels so. This feels way too awkward. <laughs> okay. Oh no! Always interesting how much blood Shepard loses when he's like critically injured. Or like hurt very much. Did I just kill my own drone? sure why she didn't use that. But cool. And I didn't even alt tab. It was just very... Very awkward. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, oh, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. Plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? If I have to. <laughs> this plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Are some dead Tyrion's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. Not worth it. Do you know a Solarian named Morton Solis? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. He's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. I'm sure you have plenty of exposition. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. Huh. What do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. I yeah, don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. Tell me everything you know about Morton Solis. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. No way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcha finish them off. I'm kind of sorry to see him go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship. 
Kept the district in line for the most part. Okay. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while. Get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. But that was a double negative. So you're gonna steal something. <laughs> Always weirds me out when people say stuff like that with double negative. With double negatives. Like. It's weird. At least that feels weird. Hey, those guys are not, not moving. That's cool. Move in closer. Fish me. Ow. Um, mistake, but just for fun. Yeah. That was dumb. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have the freeze thing. I should rearrange my like power bar, <laughs> but I'm afraid it might crash my. Crossed into Vulture territory. Ouch! That broke. Um, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Let me just quickly check if the thing is still working. Yeah, yeah. See, see, seems to be. Oh, that was sort of easy. Hi. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Okay. The Blue Suns knew better than to mess with Professor Solus, but the Vorcha, I'm not so sure about them. I hope we can hold out here until the quarantine ends. Our supplies are already getting low. No funny business okay, once you're in the thanks. clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Wait, wait, wait. I... Gordon's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Okay. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Morden's around here somewhere. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Hello. Morden saved my life. I owe him everything. Morden says you humans aren't to blame for the plague. But why aren't your kind getting sick? Not all humans are bad. The volunteers here have been very good to me. Morden saved my life. Cool. I owe him everything. Uh, I guess I can try to walk to him directly. Hello. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. This is probably okay. the safest place in the district right now. We intend to keep it that way. The professor's got a few surprises cooked up in case the Vorcha decide to attack the clinic. This clinic is a sanctuary. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. Yeah. I didn't realize how good things were in the district before the quarantine. Never thought I'd miss the Blue Suns. I didn't think this clinic would be crawling with so many of your kind. I would have thought twice about coming here. You can still leave. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. Professor, we're running low on toxic. If you use melanarin, plenty on hand, almost as good. Causes cramping in vegetarians. Supplement with butemerol. Just going to take that. <clears throat> mm. 
Now that I've taken all the things you had, how are you doing? Professor Morton Solis? Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Fortune. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Fortune a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No, no, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers. Not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Maybe. Looking for some. Relax, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Um, a secret organization. It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human-centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not alliance standard. Spectres. Not human. Terra firma too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. I mean... Both my companions have their logo printed on their chest, so... Yeah. <laughs> You're very well informed. How did the Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Solarian aid? The Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design them. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at environmental control center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. What the hell was that? Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffer. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from dead blue sun's marks may come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing, Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future, I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Suns, Vorcha still battling, district not secure. See what I can do. Do you have exposition? What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background. Wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. <laughs> Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Stuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks Group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Fair enough. Let's head for the environmental plant. Okay, cool. Let's... Yes, good. Restore power. Release... Okay, let's equip the new pistol. Never mind, I guess it's already equipped. Oh, hi. That's, that's a console. <laughs> oh. this gun. Choo, choo. Oh. 
on, I'm about to run out of ammunition. I should use the freeze thing more. That's the wrong button. It's also the wrong button. That's... And it crashed. <laughs> okay, uh... Cool. Um, let's wait for the game to go back up. Yeah. Um, that's loud. Punk. Let me get the game capture again. <sighs> Very cool. Okay, no idea what hap what's happening now. Three thirty two. Okay, seems to be capturing the thing right now. Capture the thing correctly now. Uh, uh, did we get X positioned on already? Yes, Shepard. You need something. Yes. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes, good. Restore power. Release cure. We'll be here when you return. Okay, I guess the hot bar is going to stay the way it is. Just going to crash a lot. Hello. I really like that things actually freeze <laughs> in Mass Effect 2. Yeah, I just somehow missed two shots. That's a huge skill issue right there. <laughs> also, hi, Bertle, how are you doing? Let's try that again. Huh. Now let's save. Save those. That's a console again. Wrong button. Help. Let's have him use the pistol. Okay, this is going okay. Mm, looks like there isn't any more flame. Flame. Flame flower. 
the same for our guys. <laughs> okay, he just t posed. Very threatening, yes. Where's the Krogan? Ah, guess I'll kill these guys. Before he spawns. Awkwardly stand here and recharge shields. Yeah, oh, there he is. Um. No. That's not good. Right, 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 right. Stun gun? Huh? Okay, let's quickly see if I can lawfully repossess something. And definitely not steal anything. run out of ammunition using this gun. Oh well. Oh hi. Okay, let's No Um oh. Stop. Stop, please. Don't shoot. Ow. Okay, yeah. Please throw and like, do the things. How many more are there? Please stop. Stop. Ow. Uh, freeze. Yeah, let's just. I guess I could really. should really use the SMG more. And keep the. Carnifex for. Uh, more heavier targets. some bank information. Nice. It's a quick save. Okay, because the... Telling you the truth. Oh. I worked for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those.
those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. And I should... Look out! One more. One more step and we kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha. The plague. But this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. He's right. It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you want to kill him. Are we free to go? <laughs> well, you could shoot them, but that's... We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Bye. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? Yes. The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. Very nice. Enemies in front. I really don't like how inaccurate this gun is. Well, technically, I only have to like wash how I shoot <laughs> and instead of just spraying. It's brain prey. Those things have to, don't. <laughs> At least those things don't have AOE. Firing now. Okay, let's get out. Get rid of all the missile guys first. There's more. Okay, let's quickly get over here. Okay, not sure if they like Want the guys up there would progressively just keep respawning, but looks like that is not the case. Okay, it was a miss. <laughs> I. Overload did more like damage to normal health. Not that one. Shame that the game crashes when I try to like rearrange the power bar thing. Some kind like stuck somewhere. Okay, I guess he's stuck in the inside the railing block thing. Now well, let's, I guess, keep the. Uh, 
Overload deployed. Just have to be careful with shooting, and then this should work out. Get some ammunition from over here. Deploying tech overload. And I guess I can hopefully just continue. Get over here. Without having to kill that guy. Seems like it. Very nice. Good. Okay, big gun. That's not the big gun that I meant. Ow. Okay, and at least he freezes. Let me let me die to that. That's good. <laughs> okay, let's quick save. And steal of all of these stuff that I could find. We're close to the environmental controls. Get that cure in, then hit the fans. Ah, you don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. What did the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! Trouble ahead. Okay. Okay, nice. Not so nice. Worked out. The central control system is in an alcove in the center of the back wall. You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Okay. Uh, now this part is slightly difficult. Hopefully I managed to do it. Doors locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Now let's finish you up. I have located the fan controls. There are two. One on either side of the room right now. That's a nice trip. This is not yet the difficult part. <laughs> Enemy down. For some reason, this guy isn't shooting, which is fair enough. Boop. Left. Okay, let's go and activate the fans on each side, which is actually. Yeah. Move out of the way, please. Okay, we've 
overload this actually sort of works. Okay, you please go fly. Why didn't you explode? Ow. Okay. Ow. I guess the second one is the more difficult one. Firing now. Um no, let's save that. Ray, I guess. What's the ability actually called? Cryo Blast. Okay. Here we go. Hopefully, I can level up my. Around to make it very survivable. Yep, here we go. And freeze. Although I already have said it, this f feels way easier <laughs> than I remembered. Usually did die a few times. Oh. Wait. Um. That was a miss. Was a hit, and that was a waste. Very nice. Okay. Please die. Okay, nice. Oh boy, please don't push. Hi. Stop, stop, stop. I saw this guy coming a bit too late. Please have a good checkpoint system. Which, yeah, please. Kill me. Kill me right now. I accidentally all tap. <laughs> mean. Yeah, how? How? Heavy weapons. Watch yourself. Ow. Okay, a bit disappointing that I died. That stupid. Let's just continually blow these guys up with overload. Okay, I shouldn't. I should just remain in cover. 
to see safer option. And just tell the squad what to do. Let's continue with frantically, me, 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 frantically quick saving every time. Doors locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. That. Okay, terrible misses. Very nice. Why is he using a shotgun? Oh. Mm. oh, I can't. That's a shame that I can't put the drone up there. Why can't I see my health bar? It's not good. safe here. Let's try to get the guys down here to over... That was the accidental ult tab. Come on, please expert. Nice. Okay. Let's get this guy. Okay, very practical to have overload here. As I probably said multiple times already. Thank you for exploding. Okay. As long as I kill the other guy as quickly, that should be fine. Please move out of the way. Let's stay in cover and regenerate health. Okay, okay he has to go slow quick. For a second, look like the shotgun. Probably should have chosen <laughs> chosen the frag grenade instead of the flashbang. Okay, 
freeze is very practical. <laughs> For Krogans. Where's the other guy? Oh, uh, not good. I accidentally all tapped again. Ow. Okay, now can I try to... I missed. Again. Jacob. Oh, come on. Guess I had a sort of lucky shot. Mount that one. Oh, at least you die, please. Ow. Already died. Cool. Oh, of course they have armor. Please calm down. Come on, little drone. Please get them. I'm sure you can do this. <sighs> yeah, this is now way more awkward. gone. At least the guys from downstairs don't spawn until I actually go there. That was probably a mistake. Nice spread on those bullets. Uh-oh. That's not good. Yeah, Jacob, just run right at him. That's cool. At least they exploded. Come on, guys, please die. Doesn't hurt too much. Now, oh. oh, here it comes, big guy. if I died right there and also extremely annoying well I guess I can sort of just ignore these Ow. oh I'm out of all out of ammo mm, not good Just, let's just give more support to the others. I'm sure it'll work out well. Oh, 
Aha. Overload works against armor, that's very nice. I hope that noise meant that the guys that were up there also died. And no one just pressed the button and nothing happens. Engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping, patients improving, Borcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Jacob, what are Lots you doing? To help you. Sometimes heal patients. You sometimes good? Sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Jacob just zoomed good through kid. the background. Good naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic. Should be able to handle it now that Borja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. Cool. We're heading out. See you on the Normandy. Hoggers. Ah, uh, let's go and get the other guy. Mind. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spreads too slow. Airborne virus. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There's a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? Yes. This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board. Non-human crew members. Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Okay. Well, I guess let's go get some upgrades and then go back and get the other guy. <laughs> okay, go and do this. Don't need that. Might as well get that. Prototypes. Very much yes, I really do like the missile launcher. Because it's very cool and the missiles... Um, how do I put this? Don't require a lot of aiming. <laughs> uh, 
I think I already have one. Cool. Let's go and... Commander, you've received a new message at your oh. private terminal. Okay. Let's just go back and I don't think I need to. I don't think there's much dialogue to skip. Let's take her and Morden, and that should be fine. Um, let's... Yeah. <laughs> let's make things be on fire, yes. Okay, that seems reasonable. Do I show the? <laughs> okay, let's get the rocket launcher and give everybody guns. Okay, very cool. The plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Doctor Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. Excellent. No. Regarding plans to deal with the Archangel, there's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. So, I heard he went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? Dead yes. Vorcha? <laughs> no. Don't know anything about that. Uh huh. Right. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. Okay. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Well, 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 let's go. <laughs> I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Should still all be fine. Yep. Okay, I think this part is actually more difficult than the. It's about uh, time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. Life support system one. They tell you what we're up against. But uh, hopefully I don't die. <laughs> the recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. 
Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. Sounds a bit like a suicide mission. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. But first, I need some exposition from you. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kafka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Cool. Getting in, simple enough. Getting out, problematic. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Now well, let's also make sure that I can repossess lots of things and... Ooh, what's back here? Probably nothing. Nope, just a 480p skybox. Very cool. Let's do that. Oh, also, good night, Bertle. Thanks for stopping by. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. I don't expect much from the freelancers. When they fail, huh. we are up next. Hello. You need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? Yes. I'm Jared. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need? Yep, see you tomorrow, Bertle. So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. Oh. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around, you'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered, he won't be making fools of us much longer. 
Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. Okay. I'll get going. Good idea. Wait, wait, wait. Let's continue to look around and do stuff. That might pack this, I guess. Stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. <laughs> Thank you. When did the blood pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan and they don't want us getting in their way. Uh, we're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their max. We'll see. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men and making me work for my money. <gasps> I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one on one. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave until he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. Okay. I should get going. About time. Okay. Oops. Okay, some... Bodies backing information once again. Oh. oh. Okay, very nice. Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, pal. He's over there working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. I'll okay. be right back. Good luck. Hello. What do you want, freelancer? Go report to Kafka. Not now, human. Don't you have a job to do? What is it? <laughs> oh. He ran out of lines. Excuses? Tell Kafka to get that gunship working, or he'll be next over that bridge. And somebody get me those damn blueprints! Now! Get this Hi. freelancer out of here. I don't have time for this shit. I just have a few questions about the operation. Get, get this scum out of my face. Over here. The next wave's going soon. Shouldn't you be outside getting ready? Why is he so pissed off? He's not a big fan of you freelancers. 
Doesn't trust people he doesn't know. Hates Fair enough. to bring in outsiders. What do you want to know? What Derek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. What if Archangel survives all the attacks? Then you sons are on your own. That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Good. Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know what to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Suns so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. Hmm. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Huh. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Watch out. Hi. Kafka. Hello, how are you doing? Sergeant Kafka. You must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Salki? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. You three kind of stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. <clears throat> so our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. Are you going to give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. A few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap him in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blaster's finished with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Okay. Are you leading the assault? <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! <laughs> just awkwardly walk away. Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to a hundred percent before Tarek decides he needs her again. <sighs> I can't. It's all Paragon. Put that army tool. What a shame. <laughs> Archangel is in trouble. Not much time. Well, let's not wait around too long. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Guys, surprise of our own. I see them. 
Let's just sneak in. I'll just go here. Thanks. Let's use this gun instead. Freeze! That was the wrong thing. Freeze! Frick. Um... Freeze! Oh, come on. Please. Okay. Okay, everybody has died. Let me quick save. Shepard. Hello. <clears throat> I thought you were dead. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mobs is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. Fair enough. I'm sure you have time for lots of exposition right now. Right? How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for... All my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please. It's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. You nailed me good a couple of times, by the way. Concussive of rounds only. No harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Fair enough. Well, we got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. Awesome. <laughs> if we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. Mm. That looks like a lot more than scouts. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You? You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything we've got. Oh, I'm fine up here. I got it. Oh, 
forgot those guys have armor now. On insanity. Uh, I should take this. Let's get down there. We got light meds in the base. Yeah, please don't die, that would be suboptimal. Heads up, go to point sniper. Oh hi. How are you doing? Um, yeah. Shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't have run down there, honestly. Okay, that's a lot of noise. I think up here is a reasonably, reasonably good position. Don't, please don't, please don't. Thank you. No. Oh, wow. Eclipse marks. You guys really. Really are brushing up here. Use my freeze palma. Heads up. Okay, nice. Oh. Not too nice. Okay, this is working relatively well. Yeah. Hang on, 
nice. Eclipse mercs have made it into the base. Well, let's kill the guy before he gets the Mac up here. Eclipse mercs, rear stairs. Would you please die? Thank you. Feeling too confident about the mech doing mech things. I, I can get in a position over here. I got something for this. Yeah. Oh, this didn't hit what I wanted it to hit. Very cool. Not terribly great. Freeze? Oh, actually. Freeze. I really, I really like to freeze things. <laughs> Shipping Tainted Izo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Um... It'll be fine. Smile. Morton, stay with Garrus. Keep him safe. We'll do what I can. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. How do I get to the basement? Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Huge mistake. Regret my decision. Oh, get to the console and close that shutter before they can get through. Come on, commencing shutdown. Don't. 
Um. Only the others, but it's easy. Okay, this one sucks. Mount that one. Well, at least I got the burn thing. Okay, at least he's gone now. This could have gone a lot better. Please jump. Actually, going quite well. <laughs> Holding out for now. Dealing with shutters would help. Yeah, please don't high die. Uh, make this as blood. Thank you. At least that one was very smart, it seems. Please freeze. Please don't do this. Okay, I'm out of ammo, that's hoggers. Damn, more trouble on the bridge. I can't keep up. 
Thanks to the old tab for help. Um, not good. Um, come on. Okay, hate that altar thing. Finally. Oh, maybe I should now go and press that button after some time. Come on. Commencing shutdown. Um. Okay, nice. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Enemies in front. Help. Doing too good in terms of ammunition right now. Come on. Yeah. You just be brave. Was absolutely retarded. <laughs> Please. Okay. I missed all of those shots. Oh, there's two of them. That's cool. Okay. Now this part might take a moment. Don't shoot me. Not going too well with no ammunition. You've survived for us. I think. Oh, fuck off. That was just dumb. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Okay, 
That is going better. Again on accident. Hi, would you please? Thank you. No. Heads up. No. Okay. Please don't shoot me. Uh, freeze. <laughs> freeze. I'm right here. Hmm. Tough bastards, but I've seen worse. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his fortune showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. tarek has got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. And... Look out! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. They're offloading troops. Very cool as you just oh, hit, hit, sit down right in front of me. You overloaded the bed. another point okay very cool down there because obviously why would I why would I want to oh, now I can Up here. What less to worry about? What? What? <laughs> Stop being so weird, <laughs> please.
I'm sure I can deal with this. It might take a while. He's fine. Okay, let's use our heavy pistol set to like heavy damage. You bet. Yes. That was a big angle. Please use your powers to just kill. Let's just not die right here, that would be embarrassing.
on. Of course. Let's quickly then get through some dialogue and then that's it for the day. Having done all the stuff on Omega, I think. Yeah. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The docs corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but. Shepard. <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus, Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? Yes. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Hmm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Well, 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 time to get a lot of exposition. Investigate. Take a damage, yes, please. for some reason I can take that. Okay, very nice. Whoa, 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 Morton. Tell me everything you know, and I do mean everything. <laughs> Shepard, how can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples, more collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Cool. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Mm -hmm. Autotypes? Oh, seems fair enough. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with the budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Table doesn't look healthy. Quiet with Plague gone. 
Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice. Retirement after SDG work complete. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Ding, 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 Heard ding, he was ding, part ding, of that. Ding, Jury ding, rigged ding, explosive. Ding, ding. Mm. Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Salarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Hmm. Okay, now the, the now the tax is highlighted. That's cool. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellions bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. Okay. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work, need to study. So much data, here if you need me. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute? <clears throat> Not now. Working on collector data. Oh. Have ruled out artificially intelligent virus. Unless it's very intelligent and toying with me. Hmm. Tests. <laughs> Anything else? No. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Wait, wait, wait. I've got a big ship to talk to. Commander, can I help you with something? How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't, we're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. Anything else, Commander? What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. Anything else, Commander? How are we doing? Morden's modification. Anything else? I'm more Commander? interested in just Sounds talking. good. Have to say, you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific, or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Uh, Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. Huh. You don't seem like a results at all cost kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. What was your proudest career moment? Uh, we covered this, didn't we? It was after getting sidelined. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. Fair enough. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus puts you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stud. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. 
I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Okay. Commander, can I help you with something? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Cool. Can I re Let me know when you want that, Commander. We'll talk later. Commander. Can I collect more resources? Thing on red. Uh, uh huh. Side mission and markers. Cool. Commander, you've received a new message at your pro. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. Uh, okay. I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. Be yourself, Kelly. We don't need military protocol getting Let's in the way. Let's just try to avoid getting in a romance by accident. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Oh, I better never go. mind. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Hey, Hadley. I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? Gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. <laughs> hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. Okay. I assume everything is going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. I assume everything is going Good well for up now. Here. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Cool. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Uh, That's no. all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Okay. Something compensated. Only a few more people to talk to. <laughs> Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. Huh. Hello. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle <gasps> right here, right now? You and me. My guess. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins popped up and yelled, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often, they die. And if I can help them, 
They move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, the Joker will always have Brolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. <coughs> <clears throat> That's sort of creepy. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or uh, maybe I'm just happily drunk. Hopefully. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? To the people we care for. May we never take them for granted. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Let's talk to even more people. Oh, I'm I'm drunk. No, I'm sure it's fine. Hello. Shepard. Need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collective ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Well, well, well. Be it too expensive. Let me know when you've got the materials for me to upgrade our guns. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. Huh. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. Huh. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. Cool. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. 
He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedona's out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Huh. Do you know where Sedona's is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedona's. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Okay. Bye. Doo, 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 doo. Nothing new from him, I guess. Commander, what can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Yeah. Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approved of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. <laughs> Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. Oops, sorry. Maybe. <laughs> you are who you That's, are. Man. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Okay. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Bye. -bye. Do -do -do. What are you? Just too I have to say. Them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Cool. 
Let's see. Oh yeah, Zaid is still down there. The engineers, I have to say. But sure, let's talk to him too. I just heard collectors hit the Ferris Fields colony. Everyone's gone. Shit! We're going to make those dirty buggers pay. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. A commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion 5's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. Gang. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. So worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. Okay. Oh well, well, time for just a tiny bit more of exposition. Hi. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. So you knew Archangel from before. Oh. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. He and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. I should let okay. you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. That's okay. my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillion Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I'd give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. I was down and out when I found that gun. Jessie was the first weapon I got my hands on. Took her everywhere. She didn't have much punch, but reliable as all hell. She'd already been through a lot by the time I got her. Still, I never had to recite her once. Damn good rifle. I remember Jesse's first kill. Torian arms dealer out of Omega. I ran through miles of filth and rust to hunt him down. When I finally cornered him, that gun was caked in two inches of the foulest sludge you can imagine. But Jesse wanted that Torian dead, so two shots. And he died right there. I see. I killed my way across the terminus systems with that gun. Seemed like Jesse wanted to kill more than I did. Bloodthirsty old bitch. I owe half my reputation to that weapon right there. Anytime someone calls me ruthless, relentless, they're talking about that rifle. I don't take Jesse into battle anymore. Had to retire her about five years ago. I was hunting down this Batarian slaver. Forgot his name. Not important. Carved my way through a hundred Batarian mooks. I don't remember ejecting a clip once. Jesse just kept firing. Reached the slaver and he got in my face. So I went to blow him away and nothing. The old bitch had finally jammed. So I smashed his face in with the butt of the gun and called in the job. After that, Jesse couldn't be fixed. Nothing anyone could do. Like she'd finally had enough blood and was ready to rest. Been resting. Cool. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varacan. Turian frigate, hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission, at 
and an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Cool. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Gazark. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 70 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizark into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. I should let you go. Cool. Talk more later, Shepard. Well, now for some important business. I guess that is everybody talk to. Well, let's get an idea on what to do next stream. Okay, all the immediate stuff. On a mega S gun. Uh, gone, I mean, done. Let's see. Uh, okay, help Said. Firewalker. Recruit the Master Thief. Recruit the Convict. Explore the crash site. Investigate Project Overlord. I guess we can do some recruiting missions next time. Yeah. And then once lots and lots of systems are unlocked, I'm going to go for some side missions for like four streams and then <laughs> go from there. But yeah, probably going to do resource gathering and stuff like that off stream. Oh, or maybe on stream. Yeah, I'll see, I guess. Oh yeah, that's it for today. And uh, yeah, stream was a bit, yeah, bit boring, I guess. <laughs> Didn't really talk much. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching and participating in chat to those that did. Next Mass Effect stream is most likely going to be next week on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that the stream was enjoyable, or at least somewhat entertaining and perhaps until next time and goodbye